All right, so I just found this extra passage here. So I cleansed the corruption and then, so here is what was said after I was done cleansing corruption. Nazoth whispered, the shadows hold in the secrets. The light is blind to them. And then someone named Vilrak says, abandon hope. The Black Empire engulfs your world. Cho then says, now is the time for hero heroism for heroism. Show them why your name echoes throughout history. I mean he's right. Just on the map location, I'm assuming he's down here. Pools of power. I'm guessing other players came down here. This looks very much like the beginning of the siege raid. Huh. Okay. Seems to be quite a bit of trash I need to deal with right now. Oh, hey, there's a chest right there. Ugh. But hey, there at least there are other players coming down here. To help clear this place out. Nice arm. You have done it. The old gods grip on our world loosens. This will be a tale for the ages. All right. Now to make my way back out and head back to where uh, Ra Den is. Also, I can't find these void tears, so I don't know what's going on with that. Nope. Nope. I'm just gonna ignore it. You have my attention. 
So, you managed to defeat one of the Vale's would-be conquerors. A notable feat. But Azeroth's enemies are innumerable. The Burning Legion, the Old Gods, the Void. Sooner or later, the scales will tip against this world. But I have been mistaken before. Now to choose. No, I like that. Hmm. Oh, wow. It actually encourages you to keep your corruption level high. have proved me wrong in the past, so I will give you a chance to do so again. The titan structure which houses the engine of Nlaksha spans the entirety of Pandaria. There are more ways to reach it than just the Mogushan vaults. There are many such routes, but the closest would be through Mogushan Palace. The chambers beneath the palace are interconnected with the vaults. Seek your fate there. The end approaches. So, all of the Titan facilities on Pandaria are connected. Fascinating. Well, no sense standing around while the world is ending. To Mogushan Palace! <laughs> oh, here's something I didn't notice before. Okay. Taking damage is a chance to reduce your movement speed for five seconds. The magnitude of the snare increases with further corruption. That's just one corruption. 20 corruption gets me Eye of Corruption, where spells have a chance to summon an Eye of Corruption for 8 seconds. The Eye inflicts increasing shout damage to you every 2 seconds while you remain in range. Wow. go. Another instance. To the dungeon. Raden said that the secret passage is hidden beneath the palace. We need to find a way down there. Uh, 
The statues are coming to life. Oh no. I need to get closer. Look, I don't have fond memories of this dungeon. Especially because I had to time walk this dungeon a lot. Storm strike. It looks like defeating the guards opened the door. Let's go, champion. Careful where you step. The more you going to lead traps for unwary intruders. to tell. That switch must open the way forward. Just watch your step around those tiles. Watch your step and I just jump over them. Ah! Ah! Okay, maybe I should. Oh gosh. A hidden staircase! Yeah, this is nothing new, Magna. This was part of the dungeon back in Pandaria. It looks like this is oh, look who it is. Uh, I can already hear the people complaining about, oh, look at them using old content. Okay, maybe I need to, yeah, be more mindful of jumping over those things. That upgraded storm strike. I like it. Hmm. I didn't see a way to open the door. There must be a switch somewhere. We best start searching. The 
statue, of course. You've got a sharp mind, hero. Oh, do I have to push it? Oh, like, oh, like into the right spot? Oh, I'm not fond of puzzles like this. That did it! <laughs> now, let's see where this passage leads. Maybe we should have brought a torch. Been a while since Wait. I... I think we're here. Now, let's find the engine. What in the name of Azeroth is going on in here? Intruders have breached the vaults. A lot of corruption. Leave none alive! So basically, Nazoth just decided to take the mantids for himself. A deep one? Great I should have known the mantid would throw their lot in with Nazoth. We're trying to corrupt the vaults. We cannot let that happen. A summoned maw? Oh my goodness. I'm out of range. So I wonder who their new queen is. I mean, we dealt with the previous queen back in the, um... The Heart of Fear raid. And remember, that was mainly you know, because of the Shaw of Fear. It's too far away. Look at Magni jumping in like a tank. I got this for you, champion. I'm dead. Champion, 
Are you still with me? I'm starting to oh. about you. But right now, we have to focus on the engine. Come on! Oh boy. Let me guess the engine is downstairs. Empress will have our head. Of course it's gonna be the room where the fouts are dead. Stop them at all costs! Storm strike after storm strike after storm strike. Oh, that does not look good. I've opposed his brethren, so and I've opposed probably worse than him. Oh my gosh, all these silences. Wow.
Ow, ow, ow. Oh my goodness. So much damage. I don't have a target. There we go. You can use that console to connect us to the Chamber of Heart. Remote link established. Awaiting circuit completion. Hold your horses, lass. This thing didn't exactly come with instructions. Ouch! That stung. Wait. It all makes sense now. Connecting the power circuit. What's this? Interesting. I'll remember that for later. <laughs> You're not even going to tell us what that was? There. The link is up. Acknowledged. Rerouting power to Forge of Origination. We did it, hero! The Forge is drawing power from the engine of Nalak Shah. And I found something in the archives that could turn the tide against Nazoth. Come on, let's get back to the High Keeper. <sighs> of course, he just wants me to go the long way. Ugh, man. I gotta run all the way out. <laughs> oh, come on. Nope. Ugh. To fly all the way back to Raw Den. <laughs> Fortunately, there's a flight master right there that they let you be able to unlock, so that's nice. I'll take a moment to repair my stuff on that. I have many lucky doos you like. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. Welcome. I hope to see you again soon. Is that soon. the one I need to go to? Let's see. Yep. Miss Fall Village. Hello. Farewell. Yeah, that mountain's blocking, so I can't see if he's up or not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. For a moment, it sh you know, it showed his, uh, you know, the little counter I have, so. But I I'm pretty sure that was just his corpse, so he's not up. <laughs> I would have been very surprised if he was anyway.
as usual, the art design team is just incredible. Hi, Yulon. Could you do me a favor? Could you take those things down? I'm I'm sure you're fully capable of it. No? You're not going to do that? Oh, okay. That was funny. The kite just kind of immediately turned around. <laughs> the cash of the Black Empire. This cannot Here we are. be. The Black Empire itself has invaded the Vale. Act swiftly before all is lost. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> okay. My bad. I have to go back over here and turn that into Lower Walker Cho first. My bad. That is kind of crazy looking to see the tentacles in the eyes just in the mountain. Pandaria welcomes you. Every good story needs a hero. Ooh. The Vessel of Horrific Visions. Huh. Waste. Plus 60 corruption. Oh my goodness. Your damaging abilities build the Echoing Void. Each time it builds, Echoing Void has a chance to collapse, dealing 2.50% of your of your health as shadow damage to all nearby enemies every second until no stack remains. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Look at these debuffs I get. Taking damage has a chance to summon a thing from beyond which pursues you for eight seconds. <laughs> if you're struck by the thing from beyond, you'll be immediately afflicted by grasping tendrils and eye of corruption. All damage taken is magnified and healing received. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Ugh. Yeah, I think... I think I'm going to hold off on that for now because, wow. Yeah. I've never really been that much of a fan of the whole, you know, of gear that's like, hey, you get this, but you also get this. You get a positive, but you also get a negative. I, I'll usually be the one who's like, no, I'll just take the one that has the positive. I don't want any negatives. Those seem pretty bad. It'll be kind of interesting seeing other players actually deal with that, but... Discovery speaker. If the Mogu have learned how to focus the forge's energies. Aye, it means we can use the forge against Nazoth without reoriginating the entire world. Hmm. Perhaps 
Perhaps I should observe this myself. I listen. You have done a great thing for the Rajani today, champion. I hope the engine of Nalaksha provided the power you seek. Your persistence fills me with hope for this world. Let us return to your chamber of heart at, as the caretaker of the forge of origination. I believe I can help your efforts to restore it. Speak to me when you're ready, and I will bring us there. No oh, thank you for just simply teleporting me there. Long has it been since I last saw the Forge of Origination. Storm Speaker, I leave the Rajani in defense of the engine. As you command, Highkeeper. I will take us to the Chamber of Heart. This may prove disorienting. Such a magnificent facility. It looks to be of Arcadus's make. Odd that I was unaware of its existence. Aye, we only found this place because Azeroth herself showed us the way. Azeroth cries out in pain. Not only have we managed to restore power to the forge of our origination, but we even brought back the Titan Keeper that originally installed it. But believe it or not, that's not the end of the good news. Spirit of Preservation. Channel Beam of Energy into an ally healing. Every five seconds gain Devout Spirit, causing your next quick heal to heal for an additional... 2,000 stacking up to 3 times corruption resistance is increased by 10. Okay, that's definitely for the rest of spec. We've got a new problem, champion. Another grievous wound has opened up, this time at the Maelstrom. The shaman there are in deep trouble, and they need our help. Speak to Mother. She'll get you to that Maelstrom. I'll meet you there. As if getting the forge back up and running wasn't good enough, I think we may have found the key to taking out Nazoth once and for all in the archives of Mogushan vaults. You might want to be sitting down for this one. Show me what you discovered, Magni. Uh, Azeroth! Mother, can you tell us how to focus the forge's energies against Nazoth? Affirmative. Precision execution of origination protocol. Possible via remote triangulation. Successful deployment of calibrated targeting anchors requires proximity to source of contamination. In other words, we need to place these anchors close to Nazoth himself, which means braving the very heart of the Black Empire. There is always a way. The rest of you see to the forge. Leave the problem of Nyalotha to me. Uh, I didn't know what you have up your sleeve, lad. But all right. Let's fire it up. Well met. Looks like we got a plan. Now to see what Rathian's got cooking up to find Nyalotha. We've come a long way, champion. Nixamus. Once the power from the auxiliary systems are brought online, Mother will be able to run diagnostics. All that's left is setting the final pieces in place. Relay power from the chamber, engine, and forge. Then speak with Mother to power Remember up the forge. Remember your duty to Azeroth. Okay. Can I speak to Rathian about meet again, Nope, champion. not yet. Not yet. Mm. 
rerouting power from engine of Nalak Shah to inactive systems. Accessing breeding database. Hello. Nope, still don't have those. Farewell protocol activated. Restoring Forge of Origination to full functionality. Warning. Unidentified anomaly detected. Anomaly? What do you mean? I speak for Azeroth. If the Ramkahin haven't reached out to sound any alarms, then the anomaly must be contained within the holes. We best get back to investigate. Ah, uh, we're going back. We have to go all the way back. This can be good. I'll meet you back in Uldum. Champion, this anomaly. See if you can discern its origin. Sure, Rathian. All right, we got a couple of things to do. 